When most of us think about males versus females, we usually have humans and other animals in mind. But plants have a variety of sexes too. Let's start with a quick refresher on the anatomy of a flower. A typical flower has three to five petals, or some multiple of that. The female sex organ, or pistil, is always in the center, as in this lily. Pollen lands on its tip, germinates, and sends a tube down to fertilize the egg at its base. Surrounding the pistil are the male sex organs, the stamens, which are stalks with bags of pollen at their tips, ready to burst. In 90% of plant species, every flower is a bisexual, with both stamens and pistils. In 6% of species, all the flowers on a given plant are of one sex, as in this winterberry holly. So, a plant is either male, like the winterberry on the left, or female, like the one on the right. Finally, in 4% of species, individual flowers are only male or female, but you can find both types on the same plant, you know. as in these begonias or corn. So, plants can have separate sexes, like most animals, or they can be bisexual, but in two different ways. In a later nature moment, we'll explore how to sex a plant in winter, when there are no flowers. Meanwhile, pause to check out the flowers around you. See if you can figure out their sex.